Welcome to episode one of a series of podcasts and today I'd like to talk about success. What success means to me, you, everybody and what comes in the way of that in terms of sabotage, whether it comes from ourselves personally or whether it comes from other people, whether they are a reflection of our own thoughts feelings and emotions whether they are a reflection of um, or a materialization of how we want to distract ourselves from succeeding so have you ever found that when you strive to do something or you're in the zone we'll call it where you where there is a flow and you are striving for something you are on top of everything you are ahead of yourself in terms of your work in terms of your jobs your duties what it is that you have to do that day so when you get to that space of being ahead of yourself um and it's interesting because we a lot of the time in society we think of that term ahead of yourself we think of it as a negative where you you know people will have used that term to uh, insult or put down other people's behavior or the way that they are in the world so it, today we're looking at it in a different way we're looking at it in the way that we are on top of our game so we're getting ahead of ourselves we're striving we're in the flow everything's good synchronicity we know that we're meant to be in this place because everything is happening as it should it's really easy and then boom something comes in to stop that to cut that to make it harder to concentrate to distract us from that flow that really nice flow that we just had so something whether it's a phone call or an energy or someone's response to you or whatever it is something has come in to and the, if it comes in by the phone or via email or via conversation, there's an the it's the energy that comes in on the back of that. It's not actually the the written word or the thing you're looking at. It's the energy that comes in off the back of that. So it's the the delivery method is the conversation or the email or the look or whatever that is. It's it's the energy that's actually being transferred. So the energy is coming in to stop you to block you to knock you off your path and also other terms like you know too big for your boots or um getting knocked off the throne or these types of comments where we before they will be accepted that you know someone's too big for their boots that's again was like a negative connotation that that's not right like somebody shouldn't be getting again ahead of themselves that they're people shouldn't be striving like they shouldn't be trying to expand to be better and generally those people are well some of the time they're doing it to be better than they were yesterday not in comparison to somebody else because that creates a whole different type of energy and that is not something that we are we are actually talking about so it's the energy of somebody or people that you and I that are striving to create something to expand to to really nurture our strengths and it's this other block that comes in to cut that and in that moment when that gets cut that other energy comes in it actually disables you it disables you from that flow that you're in and it may take a day or two or a minute or to get back you know to get in that flow again or to to re-engage with that flow and when we know that happens we it can be annoying because it's like okay well I've just used x amount of minutes there and I could have you know I could have been doing something else or I could have been um, continuing my flow or and such things so it is definitely something that we need to investigate and we need to gather information from that moment and data and why Not even why, but how can I stay outside of that? How can I nearly um, have so much of that energy and drive in moving forward and striving and and actually concentrating on what I'm or focusing on what I'm doing that that other um, energy 
doesn't actually affect my flow and doesn't distract me. So there are many ways to do that. And one is to, again, the focus, to keep your focus so strong in the direction of where you're going and on what you're doing that this really has very little effect on your day and your flow and your your goal in that moment that day that year that month so that's one way and the other way is to when if you're knocked you know if that if that does knock you the energy because sometimes when you're well most of the time when you are close to something that is going to be something or something that's very strong that attack or that movement of energy in to block you will will get stronger when you're really onto something and you are about to or you're engaging in that flow that's going to create something really big something that's meant to be and also will bring you in the direction and strengthen that path of where you're meant to go so it's exciting to know that that is happening and also that that may be the reason for this interjection of this energy so it's how it's about how we manage that to a point where we don't hear it anymore because we, we've now moved so much in the new direction and so much of our surface area is in the new direction so much as our, our physicality is in the new direction everything is pointing in that direction that the other really doesn't have much sound it doesn't have much effect essentially it gives up the fight so rather than us running from this we're looking for the other part to give up the fight and moving forward coming up with plans goals not necessarily have to follow through with all of them but doing all of this will create that strength that energy where you can reclaim your true space and you can reclaim your truth within yourself in terms of where you want to be and what you want to be doing because that essentially is where our stronghold is and it's when we reach that point that we don't have any fighters anymore we don't have any enemies anymore because the enemy essentially was ourselves so when we give in to our truth and stop fighting it and also stop creating these enemies so that we have someone to fight with um it's this thing where we feel like oh we have to be fighting for something all the time and most of a lot of life and a lot of people's lives are about fighting for the thing and when you're fighting for the thing there's always an attachment to something there's never a real freedom freedom of mind freedom of thought and it would be nice to be able to move through without any parts of ourselves being in conflict with the other. So again, it's a manifestation on the outside of the internal struggle and the internal conflict. And sometimes when you're doing something for a long time and the truth emerges and sometimes you'll see, oh, okay, I actually would prefer to be doing that. I would prefer to be there. How is that gonna, how am I gonna manifest that though? How is that gonna happen? So then in ensues the internal conflict it's like what you can't unsee certain things you can't unknow certain things so when that awareness comes to you and you know that something needs to change that will begin that internal battle in ourselves and what side wins is totally up to us and if if we don't make the change or we resist change there will always be a conflict then because there won't be any resolution because there will still be that one part that has seen that sight, that has seen that vision, that knows there's something else. And that part will always know that. So there'll always be that opposite. There'll be that tension within. Um, and to attain peace, we do need to look into that. We do need to strive more forward so that we can manifest our actual truths and once we start to find peace within they will appear so today really it's about dealing and managing the distractions and noticing the the, the vastness of how they appear that they seem to be the biggest thing 
in the room because in that moment for us they are the biggest thing in the room especially when there's an emotional content they're the biggest thing in the room and we feel like our our own truth or what we've and, and always notice what you've just been doing when this comes in because this is the truth this is where you're meant to be going this is what you're meant to be doing and this is well this truth it's true for you and it, you're nurturing something so always listen to that and always try and regain your your footing trying to regain your balance get up the next day and keep going in that direction and whether the distractions come or the conflicts come see them notice them we don't necessarily have to buy into them albeit they can be quite strong initially they will get quieter so keep going keep moving and and this is all we can do until we find where we're meant to be in that moment and then the next and the next and every moment is created new anyway so there's never really any way we can possibly know um, other than us knowing that we're not meant to be somewhere or that we're meant to be doing something we don't know the details and sometimes that's nice and that's okay too so distractions notice them be aware of them try and move outside of them if you are being called into into the ring or into fight you don't always have to go to the party you don't always have to accept the invitation for that fight you can stay outside of it and just recognize it as another way or an invitation to distract you from um, what you were actually just doing so again take notice of what you were just doing and know that that is something very powerful and something very special and there must be some gift there so thanks for listening and I hope that gives you some information or some kind of guidance around distractions and also following your truth and not not letting yourself be worn down by them allowing yourself to get back up and know that it was only momentary and it's always only temporary so keep moving and if the blows are strong you know that you're onto something and i wish you the best in this endeavor thanks for listening Bye-bye.